Today, I'm going to be showing how you can use subject areas directly as input to data flows. Previously, you would have to create a local subject area in order to use your subject area information in data flows. Now we've added the option to add subject areas directly to data flows through the add data picker. Once you've selected the subject area, you'll see the structure on the left with all of the associated folders and columns. You can add columns to the data flow by double clicking a column in that tree structure. We also support multi-select, so if you want to add multiple columns at once, that's also possible. If you don't necessarily know where a column is located, you can search for it using the search bar and add it directly from the search result as well. You'll notice that the columns from my subject area that I've added to the data flow have a green check mark, which helps you track whether or not columns in the subject area have been added to the data flow. In that selections component over on the right hand side, you can perform inline rename and you can also perform reordering. So in this case, I'm wanting to move my revenue and units column. You're able to perform the reordering by either just dragging and dropping the column or using those two arrows shown next to the remove button. At this point, you can use other data flow features with your subject area data to create curated data sets.